So I've been going through looking at old games that I never finished, and um, I wanted to go back and play XCOM 2, but I realized I'd never played XCOM 1 on my channel, and this is one of my favorite games, so I figured, fuck it, why not, let's do it. Um, I'm going to play on Iron Man mode, because I kind of like that live with your consequences thing. This game's tough, but fairly fair, so um, I think that's kind of a good way to play this game. Plus, I kind of wanted to see the story again. I can't remember what exactly they are like harvesting these people for. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. You are being deployed to Germany. At 1900 hour Zulu. Several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be... extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. So I activated the uh, tutorial because it actually has kind of cool story elements. And I thought it was one of the better tutorials I've ever seen in a game. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Okay. Set her down nearby. Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. 
First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta-1, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Yeah, man, I see it. I just want to see the story. Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta-2, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta-3, move to that vehicle dead ahead. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Delta-4, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double-time it. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta-4? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta-4? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Okay, um... Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. <laughs> what thing? Central, I think I just found another one of the recon team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. So anyway, so in the tutorial, uh, they aren't really teaching you. They're teaching you how to move, but they aren't teaching you how to move as a squad. Like, I'd be using, like, Overwatch to cover people. What is it? I wouldn't be I dashing no nearly as much. I thing is, but I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Delta Two. That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. I definitely wouldn't be moving into unknown territory like this. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta-3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this.
actually kind of remember what she said from studying German. Uh, I don't remember everything now, but she said, like, we're here to help. Can you hear me? So on, so so, so on and so forth. Move in and disarm him. Carefully. This is why you don't move without cover. Covering fire. <laughs> Central! Protecting fire for multiple x-rays! This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire! Damn it! Delta 2, your flank too. Find some better cover. Well, I don't want to move there, because then he can flank me again. Alright, Delta 2. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Nice shot. Delta 4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there well, I guess and get she into cover. Can now toss move a grenade over. at the enemy in front of you. So good dig. Now get ready for their counterattack. Look out, Delta 4. There's another one coming in behind you. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> it's just you now, Delta 2. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. The sloppy Delta. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Continent bonus air and space. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to produce, build, and maintain. Labs and workshops cost 50% less. Uh, why are these graded out? Um, let's go with expert knowledge. We are coming home. they are. They nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Commander to the barracks. Commander to the Sweet. barracks. Sweet. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory which is located there in the barracks. 
Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Okay, As you yeah, know, let me Commander, click it. Every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. Fire rocket! This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher, in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research labs. Com Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay. Um... Oh, we only got two sectoid corpses. Uh, eight days. Eight days. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Um, the aliens appear to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've seen before. Than we've ever seen. Uh, a cursory examination has already given us ideas for ways to improve soldiers' current body armor, but there, more research is required. Weapon fragments. Um, these fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study should lead to advances. Uh, I'll go with weapons. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. I don't plan on taking too many shots. It sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Okay, Miami. They give me scientists. Or China gives me money. I probably need scientists more than money right now. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Okay, well, everyone else is just little rookies, so not much to customize right now. Dropship has arrived. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Actually, this has been 20 minutes. I'm going to try and keep these to like one mission per video. So I will start a new one.